much. What a wonderful, wonderful turnout. I cannot get over it. I want to just briefly explain, about 36 hours ago, Delegate Rasul called me at home late <laughs> and said he needed a favor. He had an idea. He said, I need a big room and I need a big crowd in order to celebrate the real Roanoke. Well, well, this is that room and you are that crowd. So it is my privilege, a real privilege, to introduce your host, Delegate Sam Rasul. We want to let everybody know what the real Roanoke is about. We are the real Roanoke. terrorism but still love one another. Yeah. Right. Those things do not need to be mutually exclusive. Does anybody in this room like terrorism? Raise your hand. Good, good. You came to the right place. So in the hashtag Real Rona, we can be diligent against the fight uh, for, against terrorism and also love, be a loving, open society. We, when we live in a constant state of fear, who wins? The terrorists win. And the problem is, is that that's why it's called terrorism. Unfortunately, some politicians, I guess I'm a politician now. <laughs> I used to talk about the politicians all the time, now I'm a politician. Some politicians use that fear to divide us. But in the hashtag Real Roanoke, we will not be so easily divided. So today, clearly, is not about any one person, and it's not about any one statement, because we refuse for any one person or any one statement to define Roanoke and to define its people. So we're all here because we support the fight against terror, but at the same time, we're going to be pragmatic about it. We're not going to let those politicians divide us. We're going to be one united Roanoke. Everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Yes, yes. Be kind always. We too often are speaking past each other instead of speaking with each other. You know, I understand where you're coming from as far as being scared and being worried about terrorism. Here's the thing. We've had 900,000 refugees come to the United States, but none of them have ever committed an act of terror. That's why I think we need to channel and focus our energy on where the real threats are, because the real threats do exist. So I hope we can channel our energy away from giving light to the fear-mongering Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. The beautiful thing about the republic that we live in is that we are encouraged to have varying opinions. But at the end of the day, we need to use higher level thinking instead of our fight or flight response. Higher level thinking to come up with well, what should we really be doing about terrorism versus allowing someone to manipulate us into hating one another or hating another group. So I'm going to quickly give you my 60-second Roanoke story. We've, we've, we've heard several of them, but I need to tell you how thankful I am. Look what you've done, Roanoke. You've given me a gift with which I will never, I will for always be in debt to you. As a child of immigrants myself starting out in a one-bedroom apartment in downtown Roanoke, I've been able to realize the American dream, being happily married with three children 
and holding elected office in one of the most powerful countries in the world. Wow. Here's the thing. <laughs> this happened because you, the people of Rona, believed in this olive-complected young man with the last name of Rasul. Moreover, Roanokers have given me an opportunity to define my life by serving you. You have given my life purpose. You've given me strength, and you've given me the hope that you can look past our differences and allow me to love you with every fiber of my being. That is the real Roanoke. ideas, I'm sure there are a few that we want to reiterate and share with you. For the rest of 2015, let's show the world the best of who we are, not just by posting on social media, which is highly encouraged tonight, <laughs> using the hashtag, hashtag real Rono, but by doing our part to help those around us. Support real efforts to keep our community safe. Uh, we want to treat each other with Roanoke respect by fostering more fruitful dialogue, which produces optimal results, not engaging in what we call zero-sum conversations, where we're talking past each other. Point, counterpoint, no one's listening to each other. That doesn't do Roanoke, our valley, and our nation any good. And lastly, let's utilize the events this week as a catalyst to make the Star City of the South even better than before. The silver lining here is, while we've been in the news maybe for some things that uh, we would rather not be in, this has given us an opportunity to come together. So I hope you can join me and join each other in rallying around hashtag Real Roanoke. Let's do it one more time. We are.